now weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We were very chilly this morning. 26 was our low here in Springfield, 23 in West Plains, and 29 up in Rolla. Things warmed up just enough today to make it feel very comfortable. 50 degrees in Springfield as well as in Branson and in West Plains as well. Things are getting pretty chilly out there. We're looking at 41 degrees in Branson with winds out of the southeast getting pretty windy out there. We're looking at a couple of showers mainly in our northern and our eastern counties as well. We're even getting reports of a couple of flurries out there, but this will not impact your travel through tonight into Christmas Day. We are going to keep these clouds through the overnight hours as well. 41 down in Branson, 42 in West Plains, and 42 in Rolla as well. Winds out of the south and southeast that will continue into tomorrow as well. Overnight tonight, temperatures will drop into the upper 30s and lower 40s with a couple of showers around. By tomorrow morning, we'll just be looking at a blanket of cloud coverage and we'll keep the clouds, but temperatures will warm up into the lower 30s. 52 is a high here in Springfield. We are keeping track of the next storm system that will impact the Ozarks now on the west coast. That will slowly make its way through the four corners into tomorrow and eventually make its way into the Ozarks by Wednesday. Now we are keeping an eye on this storm because this storm has the potential for some strong two severe storms and some very gusty winds Wednesday and Thursday. We have potential for some 40 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts Wednesday night into Thursday. So let's time this all out for you. By Wednesday afternoon, we're looking at showers across the Ozarks. And that will continue into Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. And then by Thursday afternoon, the rest of this storm will make its way out of here. Behind it is cold winter weather. Now, this storm also has the potential to drop some heavy rainfall and have some very gusty winds, as I had mentioned. If you're looking for some snow, you might want to travel a little more north. This will also impact your post holiday travel. This is midday on Wednesday. You could see some moderate to major delays from Texas all the way up into the Dakotas, and that will spread across much of the Midwest Wednesday night into Thursday. So just something to keep an eye on. Now, even though there's going to be a couple of showers around, Santa shouldn't have any problem making his way and giving presents to everyone across the country. 37 is our low here at Christmas Eve with just a couple of showers around. Tomorrow morning, we could be waking up to some drizzle with temperatures still in the upper 30s, but by lunchtime, we'll be warm in the upper 40s, keeping those clouds around, shooting for a high of 52 here in Springfield. Those showers return Wednesday afternoon and stick around for Thursday. And behind that system is cold winter weather so tomorrow I definitely recommend going outside and soaking it up while you can. Well and we've soaked up the holidays here in the studio. I'm not sure how much you can see on this shot here but we've <laughs> changed the lighting scheme tonight so it's red and green and even our desk here has got some green on it and it'll be this way. To, there, there's a there nice shot. Yeah, look at it. We, we can change the, the LED lights so we can change them and they're, so they're, festive. they're red and green tonight <laughs> and, and you've got your red on. Yeah. How about our viewers club number? Viewers club number tonight is 239-708 and our jackpot sits at $900. Keep in mind the office is closed up front tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll be here but the office is closed. So if you're that's your number, call on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Beth, thanks for the weather update there. Still to come here on our news at 10.